There are several definitions of acids and bases. The Arrhenius definition discusses what each species produces in water. Hydronium ion for acid and the hydroxide ion for base. Here are visualizations of the reactions of Arrhenius acids and bases. First, the acid. The acid molecule comes in contact with the water molecule and donates its H plus cation to form the hydronium ion. In the base reaction, the ammonia molecule comes in contact with the water molecule and accepts the water molecule's hydrogen cation. This results in the hydroxide ion, the OH negative 1 ion. Bronsted Lowry acids and bases do not need water. The acid donates its proton and the base accepts a proton. Lewis acids and bases don't even require a proton. A Lewis acid is an electron acceptor, while a Lewis base is an electron donor. How are the three definitions for acid and base related? The Arrhenius definition means that an acid produces H3O plus 1 in water and a base produces OH negative 1 in water. Arrhenius acids require water. Bronsted Lowry acids and bases donate or accept an H plus 1. This definition does not require the presence of water. Lewis acids and bases accept and donate electrons. This definition does not need the use of the hydrogen atom. Many Arrhenius acids and bases are also Bronsted Lowry and Lewis acids and bases. There are some common properties of both acids and bases. Acids taste sour. Think about grapefruits. Bases taste bitter. Think about the taste of soap. Acids react with metals to form hydrogen gas. Bases feel slippery, again like soap. Acids have pH levels below 7, while bases are above 7. Acids turn litmus red, bases turn litmus blue. What is strong and weak? Strong means that most of the molecules act as the acid or base, either donating or accepting a proton. A weak acid or base has far fewer molecules donating or accepting the protons. A strong acid is one in which most molecules donate their hydrogen cation, whereas a weak acid only a very few of the molecules do their acid job. Concentrated and dilute refer to how many acid or base molecules are added to the system versus how large the system is. Strong and weak acids can be either concentrated or dilute. Concentrated strong means a lot is added and almost all of them do their acid or base duty. Dilute means not many molecules were added, but most of what was added will perform the acid or base duty. Weak concentrated occurs when you add a lot of acid molecules, but very few of them dissociate. Weak dilute only a few are added, and of those, only a very small percentage actually do the acid or base duty. There are only a few strong acids and bases to remember. Everything else is most likely weak. Remember these, and then any other acid or base you encounter, you can consider as weak. Polyprotic acids have poly, many, protons, which can donate. 
An example of a diprotic acid is H2CO3. Triprotic is H3PO4. Each proton in a polyprotic acid is weaker than the previous one. An acid donates a proton. For example, H2CO3. This results in a negatively charged ion. HCO3 negative 1 in this case. This negatively charged ion is less likely to give up another proton to become a negative 2 ion which would be CO3 negative 2 in this example. Therefore, H2CO3 is a stronger acid, more likely to donate a proton, than HCO3 negative 1. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4, is the only common strong polyprotic acid. However, the first hydrogen is strong, but the second one is weak. What are acid and base conjugates? A conjugate base is what's left over after an acid has donated the hydrogen cation. For example, HCl is the acid. After it donates the hydrogen to water, it now is Cl-1. This is the conjugate base. After the proton is donated, it can now act as a base. It can accept a proton. This is why it's called the conjugate base. A conjugate acid is what's present after the base has accepted the proton. In this example, the water acts as the base. It accepts the proton and becomes H3O plus 1, which is now called the conjugate acid. It's referred to as an acid because now that it has accepted the proton, it can then donate it to another molecule. It's important to be able to recognize species in a reaction. For these reactions, label the acid, base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base. For the first reaction, ammonia is the base. After it accepts the hydrogen, it's now the conjugate acid. Water is acting as the acid. It donates its hydrogen to form the conjugate base, the hydroxide ion. H2SO4 is the acid in the next reaction. It donates a hydrogen to form the conjugate base. Water acts as the base and accepts a hydrogen to form the conjugate acid. In the final equation, ammonia is the base. It accepts a hydrogen to form the conjugate acid. H2SO4 is the acid which donates a hydrogen, resulting in the conjugate base. An amphoteric molecule is one that acts as either an acid or a base. In this equation, water acts as a base. But in this equation, it acts as the acid. If the amphoteric molecule is with a stronger acid than itself, it will act as a base. If it's with a weaker acid than itself, it will act as the acid.